All right, welcome back. So last week, a lot of you might remember that I had done a really cool background using the warp tool and distorting some grids to get kind of a unique looking background. And this week, we're going to do something with the warp tool yet again. And you'll probably see me using the warp tool a lot because uh, it has a lot of versatile features. It can do a lot more than it than it seems it can do. I mean, obviously, you've probably seen demonstrations where you can wrap a logo around a bottle or something like that. But if you really dig in and really experiment with this tool, you'll find it has a lot of really cool possibilities. And this is one of them. Here I have a aerosol bottle. And I want it to make it seem as though there's actually something spraying out of this bottle here. I want something, you know, just shooting right out of there. And to do that really simply, I'm going to use the work tool and a couple of different things. I'm actually going to do this in a new file. I'm going to go to Command New or Control New, get a new file here. And since I'd already done this previously, it's 4 by 8 inches at 75. That's exactly what I want. I want it to be a kind of a tall file, but not too, too wide. And we'll hit OK. Now I'm going to fill the background layer with black because I want to be able, what I'm going to be doing here is working in white so I can actually see what I'm doing. So on, we got a background layer filled with black. I'm going to create a new layer. And we're going to over here and get my brush tool. Now I want to make sure my foreground color is set to white. And up here I want a good size brush, a very soft brush. So I'm going to go with about a 150 and making sure it's a very soft edge brush here. I want to make sure that my blending mode for this brush is set to dissolve. We're not changing the blending mode of the layer, it's staying normal. We're just changing the blending mode of the brush here and how it, how it affects when we paint. So with all that set, I'm going to go up here right up to the top of the document, almost to the top, and then click just one time. There I get my kind of really pixelated brush effect there because we have it set to dissolve. Now, I'm going to bring up my free transform on this item by Command or Control T. Then I'm going to right click or control click on that item and bring up this pull down menu and go to warp. Now, I'm going to go right here in the middle of the grid of this warp area, click and drag from that center all the way down to roughly the bottom of the document. Just about like that. I'm going to hit enter. And here you can see we're getting already what looks like a really cool spray effect. Now what I do need to do is tweak this a little bit because then right down here at the bottom where the part where it's going to be coming out of the, the nozzle needs to be a little tighter in there. It's a little too rounded and wide right there. So I'm going to bring up the free transform again and also bring up the warp once more. This time I'm going to grab the corner handles and just kind of push those in a little bit just to tighten up that tail end right there. Just like that. And then we'll hit enter. So there I have it. So now all i got to do is drag this into my document and bring up free transform and just rotate this and position it in place just like that, right about where the nozzle would be. And I could drop the opacity down here just a little bit. Maybe. And there we have it. Just in a really short step, using that warp tool, we were able to create a realistic looking nozzle spray effect right here in this file. So, again, one of the many possibilities of this tool, I encourage you to really play with it and push it and really discover uh, what you can uh, create with it. So, have fun. See you next time.